Hi, welcome to the channel, Budget Audio Review and Upgrades. And this is a continuation of my DVD versus CD. Is it that? I don't really know. Just really reviewing some DVDs, seeing how good the sound quality is from a DVD. Could you use that as your CD player? And also using some CD players. I had a stack of six to start off with. You've probably seen them in previous videos. I've narrowed it down to one. Getting the missus's way, all these DVD players sitting on the table, looking over each other, eating dinner, etc. But uh, yes, I've took them off the table. You know what they are in previous videos. Today's the turn of this is a Kenwood DP2030 CD player. A dedicated CD player we got here. And if you're looking at eBay, the last one sold in here in the UK for £49 with the remote control. Now, I bought this without the remote control from a charity shop for £8. So yeah, just... Look around charity shops, car boots, take a little bit of a gamble whether it works or not. Most charity shops test stuff out and you can always take it back if you wanted to. Obviously on eBay and places like that, they're probably being tested and should be working fine. Now, do you need a remote? Another question. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. It's got all the controls really I think you're going to wish for on the front of here. So if you see one in a charity shop without a remote like me for £8, well then that's probably the best way to go. Even on eBay, £20 or £30 if you really want this player. Then, you know, without remote, that's probably fine. You'll probably pick up a remote eventually somewhere else. Someone's selling a, a spare one, etc. Usual stuff. We're going to look inside, in the front and back. So let's just look at the front, because you can't really see it here properly in front of me. I don't think so. That's the front of the DVD player. Like I say, I know the buttons, some direct input there, so you can actually go straight to the track you want to go to uh, with all the buttons there on the right-hand side. Quickly look around the back, and as you can see, it's got... Uh, the output there on the back and it's got a fixed and variable output for the test i've done the fixed output but they're pretty much going to sound the same fixed or variable there's going to be no difference between the pair of them really and you've also got your computer control uh jacks on the back this may have been part of another system something like that or add a link to a, a, a tape player or something like that so you could do some synchronized taping um i, I think it was actually uh, sold as a standalone i'm pretty sure it was but that kind of gives a little bit of indication that it's, you know, it's probably meant to go with something else to do with Kenwood in uh, linking them up, maybe like I say, with a tape recorder, something like that. Okay, every little inside, and that's the inside. We're going to do a few close-ups of a few different bits and pieces. As normal, I've got interested in what converter it's got inside, 1-bit, 2-bit, 10-bit, anything like 16-bit. This is a 1-bit, apparently. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't really know a great deal about the digital analog converters. We're not going to link this up to any DAX or anything like that. This is just basic stuff. This is a budget channel, uh, and we're buying budget DVD stroke CD players here, as you can see, from the very little money as well, £8. I don't think you're going to go and get a DAC to stick on the end of it for £8. That's for certain. Okay, it's got no digital output anyway. This is just, like I say, the uh, normal phono RCA outputs, and there's no digital output at all on this one. Normal test now. We're going to see how fast it is in reading the disc. So we're going to open it up. Quite a nice looking machine, quite nice. I think the tray is quite nice as well. You know, it's, it's not bad at all. It's not, not not like a DVD kind of tray, like really thin and flimsy. It's got a little bit of, little bit of, I would say weight to it. It's made out of plastic, a bit, bit thicker though, slightly thicker. Just it looks a little bit more of the part. Uh, not so wobbly maybe as uh, that DVD, that denim one, but that denim one did do the uh, the part of actually having some good sound, uh, what it didn't have on the drawer. It definitely added in the sound, that's for certain. So anyway. But this is a vastly amount better, don't get me wrong, but it's just a tad better. I'm going to start off with a normal one anyway. We're going to stick it in. Hopefully you can see how fast or how slow it is reading the tracks. And as you can see, that's come up pretty quick to get to track one. So we're going to do the normal thing. We're going to play it. And we're going to skip to the next track. So let's just get it started. Hopefully you can see it started. I'm going to shout out next. And here we go. Next. And there's the second track. And one more. Next. And there's the third track, just to give you some indication. That was a, a normal uh, DVD, CD, I keep saying DVDs, a normal CD you would buy in the shop. Uh, this is a, a re-recordable one, a CDR, shall we say, not re-recordable, CDR. So we're going to do pretty much the same with this, see how fast it is. This has got 30 tracks on it, this particular one. And there you go, it's read the disc quite quickly. We're going to play again. Play. Uh, we're just going to flip through there. Next. And one more, next. And we're like I say, we can do direct tracks here. So I'll take it, we're just gonna press number 14. And there you go, that's it on track 14. And what we'll do, we'll just make it go back to track two. And track two, so it gives you kind of an idea 
of how fast or how slow this particular CD player is. And it's reasonably fast, especially on reading the disc on entry. So let's get on with the next part, the sound. Okay, so how did this actually sound? Now, before I go understand this particular CD player, I just want to say that none of the CD stroke DVD players have got sounded terrible. They all sounded fine, you know, done a reasonable job. It really depends what you're looking for. You know what I mean? If you're super critical and you want to really hear every single detail as possible and all that, more refinement, all that kind of stuff, then obviously the better the one you get, obviously the better it's going to sound kind of thing. But if you just want to just stack a CD on, just chill out and not worry too much about the sound, you know, as long as it's an adequate sound, a decent sound, you're going to be happy enough with it, depending on what amp speakers and all that thing you're listening it through, then most of these are going to be fine, like, you know what I mean? And you may be looking for the cheapest one possible, as long as it doesn't sound terrible. And like I say, none of these sound terrible. It's just some sound some sound a little bit better, some sound a lot better than some of the others. So, you know what I mean? For very little more or for the same price. I'm just trying to sort them ones out, really, one from another. But I'm not going to slag off any, that's for certain. Not say really, really bad. So how did this one particularly sound? Now, first thing I noticed about this one, this has got a, a sweet sounding sound, like very sweet sounding sound. Kind of sound you're just going to relax, listen to and think, you know, just go along with it kind of thing and not really take much, too much notice, just going to listen to your records, etc. But with that sweet sound, it's just lacking detail, you know what I mean? The detail is lacking there in pretty much every department, but it's still quite a nice sweet sounding CD player. The top end, it just sounds, you know, it's okay, it goes up quite high as it happens, it goes maybe just a little bit too high, it just sounds a bit mushy, you know what I mean, it just sounds a bit mushy, but it's fine, you know what I mean, there is, there is some detail there, don't get me wrong, but it just sounds a little bit mushy, could do with more definition, more clarity, more focus, that kind of thing. Vocals are a little edgy, they're okay, just a little bit edgy, the vocals, but other than that, they're fine. Uh, the bass there, the bass is not too bad, could do a bit, could do a bit more bottom end, to be honest with you, the bass isn't too bad. A little bit muddy, but it's a, it's a little bit lacking, really. Just a little bit lacking the bass, I thought. Uh, could do, definitely do with some more definition. You know, it could do with a bit more bass anyway. It's just a bit lacking, but could do with some more def definition, that's for certain. The sound stage was a little bit narrower again on this player. Would, li would like it to be more open. Would definitely like it to be more open. The instrument placement was okay. That seemed to be okay. It just wasn't really that focus. Could do with more separation between each instrument, that kind of thing. You know, bring each instrument out in its own kind of place so you can you know see that instrument kind of thing but other than that isn't too bad um just going through a few that the, the, the trumpets they're okay they do a bad job you know it's quite believable they sounded okay the trumpets pretty much um the same with the sax pretty much the same with the piano they sounded okay you know i mean nothing fantastic but they're okay they sounded quite nice and they're not too bad at all uh, but just could have been more detailed. More detail would have been nice in there. This, this player, like I say, is quite a sweet sounding DVD, sorry, CD player. But um, it's just lacking that detail. But it's it's got that nice sound. It's, it's not too bad kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like I say, that sweet sound is going to draw you in, relax you kind of thing. But you're just, you know, f missing that detail focus, that kind of thing. Um, it's kind of not far off a typical kind of stack unit kind of CD player. Maybe just a little bit better, like than a typical, you know, stack uh, unit CD player. Maybe um, not, not very open, not very, not very engaging. Wasn't really engaging with it. You know, I mean, it's okay. Like I say, it's okay. Pretty much run of the mill. What I thought. This on eBay goes for about forty nine pound. I think the last one sold for a remote control, and I reviewed that denim, and that's a far better bet that denim DVD player I reviewed earlier. Uh, that goes for probably 20 30 pounds something like that hasn't got all the fancy front it looks a bit dvd-ish but it is better than this sounding depends what you really want but this is black that's silver as well something else to bear in mind and trays a little bit on the flimsy side nothing too much to worry about there just a bit dvd player-ish but a blinding sound you know what i mean but uh this is okay it won't put you off for of this but i think if you're paying 50 pounds you're probably paying a little bit too much probably 20 to 30 pound bracket somewhere around there if you're after this particular DVD player, sorry, CD player, I must remember what I'm reviewing here, a CD player, maybe £40 tops for remote, that would be absolute tops, including postage, something like that, but something to look out for, like I say, in a charity shop. Now, just one other little tip before I go, is if you are looking on uh, eBay for DVD players, stroke CD players, either one, anything like that, or anything, in, anything really, amplifiers, receivers, etc., but mainly DVD players, to be honest with you, they're so run-of-the-mill, people just can't get rid of them quick enough, 
is that people sometimes just put Samsung DVD player, bomb for sale, five pound, 20 pound, whatever. No model number. So go in there and find out what model number that is, because obviously some good ones, depending what make, any make or whatever, there's some decent model numbers there amongst them. Some people may just say DVD player for sale, 10 pound. Just a little picture of it. It may be half of it missing. Uh, Go in there and find out what they're actually selling. Zoom up, find out the model number, just in case they've not made a mistake. They think they've got a run-of-the-mill DVD player, run-of-the-mill CD player that everyone's kind of selling, you know, they can't get rid of. And they haven't, they've got a decent one. So just bear that in mind. Zoom in and find out if they haven't got a model number. Go and find out what it is. Okay, until the next video, I'll say thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.